Hey, welcome back to the Barbecue Lab. I'm Jason Shaver. Today we're going to be doing barbecue bologna on the Kamado. So let's get to it. today is barbecue bologna. We've got a two pound chunk of bologna. What we'll do is we'll cut the wrapper completely off. We'll take a really thin blade and poke holes all through the sides and the edges. What this will do is, and part of the process, when we get ready to add the barbecue sauce piece, it'll allow that barbecue sauce to seep down in there. We've already got our barbecue lab uh, base compound rub in a plate. We'll roll it completely coat it, then we'll dip the ends, and then it'll be ready to go in the smoker. So. Here we've already got the grill set in about 350 degrees. We're going to adjust our charcoal, add our pecan wood, and then put the diverter plate in and then get the rat back in it and get the bologna on the grill. So all I'm doing is kind of moving the charcoal around just a little bit. I'm just going to put that block right directly on. We'll put our diverter plate holder in. The bologna right in the middle of the diverter plate, just like that. And we're gonna let it go. Now what, some people may ask, what if I don't have a diverter plate or an offset? What you can do is if you're doing it on direct heat, you can lay it on its side and kind of do it like you would a hot dog. You would let it cook a little bit, roll it, cook, until all, four, all the sides are about even may take you a little longer a little less because you're on direct heat the process will work just the same and you'll be greatly satisfied with your product all right so our barbecue bologna has been on about 45 minutes smoking so we're going to check it should be ready to go into the full with the barbecue sauce we'll put the barbecue sauce on it kind of tin it and then put it back in the smoker again back on the heat for about another 45 minutes to let it really good and marinate it had this wrapped and on the grill for about an hour so we're going to open it up now and we'll slice it up and it should have perfection if you notice we made the little tin around it so it wouldn't touch so that way it wouldn't pull off you can see we've done a pretty good job of that slice off as you can see that you don't really get a smoke ring with the bologna but you can still see like where we poke the holes in 
you can tell they've kind of expanded some so it lets you know you were pushing something to smoke through there That's good eating. So if you like what you've seen today on this video, subscribe to the channel. If you know somebody else that would enjoy what we do, love meeting new friends around the world that like to grill and try new things. Drop us a note. Let us know what you thought of today's cook. Let us know what else you'd like to see us cook. Never know, you may just see it on the next video because we're here to try to help you win your weekend. Until the next time, thanks for joining us here at the Barbecue Lab.